It doesn't matter to me. I see what he's going through. And I think that's a quality that UArts gives out so much, which is why there's tons of alumni in shows, because we bring that there. We go, you know, yeah, we'll train, we'll go home and be like, Ooh, all night long, but like, we will bring that moment there all the time, every time. Yeah, we will bring life to characters, which I think is a rarity in like, the musical theater world. Hmm. So here's a question. What was the audition process like for each of y'all? And uh, <laughs> how, do you feel now? Or how do you feel how do you feel now that you're working with your peers and with your peers? I was gonna be out of the country for the audition. So I filmed myself in the UArts Terra building oh. doing over the moon by myself with this bell I found. <laughs> okay, I was crazy. It was insane. I had the worst audition, yes, you actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. I was stuck in New York, and I had, uh, was with uh, the national tour of Oklahoma, and it was like 16 guys, and I made it past the first call, and then I made it past the dance call, and then <laughs> I made it. I may have passed the next one, and then it was down to three guys, and I'm like, I have an audition at 10 o'clock, and they're like, oh, tonight? And I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we, yeah, you'll have plenty of time. It's like 6.30, and they still haven't seen me, it's like down to three, so I didn't want to leave, you know what I mean? And so I'm singing, oh, what a beautiful morning fucking, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, then I get, I finally get on like an 810 bus and I get, I'm like running around all of Drexel because they had it somewhere at the, at the Mendel and I run in there and like my shirt is just, I'm just like so disheveled and I, I like sang and I'm out of breath and it's, it was awful. It was awful. They were like, they were like chunky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I got, then I got a phone call and it was, awesome. It's great. I'd say Kuiper, we got to have a similar experience because the, the I was oh. there for six hours for yeah. the callback. Oh. Alan was there all day. I was there hours. Okay. <laughs> you were called. For, oh no, but you thought you were called. I thought hours. I was called, but I sat for eight hours. I was auditioning for six hours. It was for all different roles. And all then the, the Mimi callbacks, she gave like every song. Like a, yeah, a part did, of every We song. had to sing three different songs. And you me. think you know. You think you know what they say on you the CD. You don't know crap. Exactly. <laughs> you don't Omega know It's like, you think you know the words. Yeah, you have no so idea. I didn't, because I got the sides the night before, because I didn't know if they had done auditions like two weeks earlier. So I was like, oh, this is normal. Every girl got the sides like the night before. And it's red. I know all the words. Crazy. Literally didn't know half the words, because I had never actually looked at the words. And I'm like, wow, that's what she's saying. And I went in there and then hearing that everybody was like off their book, off music, and they, they knew everything, so I was freaking out. And then we had our dance call back with Steve Pasek, which was probably one of the best dance callbacks I've ever had. But my body was literally like, like shaking. Shaking. <laughs> because he had us crawling on the floor. It just he had us tipping over chairs. Tipping over like chairs, up on legs, legs we all had boots on. And it was like, oh. as you're belting this. Crazy right. song. The owl tonight. Yeah. Oh like, yeah, it's, like like it's nothing. But I think. It, <laughs> yeah. But I think it, I mean also because we were there together. I think it was yeah. it was a great experience because I was also just getting to see people I yeah. love. And I would say Laura and I, we always talk about how much more comfortable we are when we're in auditions together. We always get called for the and same I things. I can't go to an audition. But we feel so much together. better when Laura. And then it becomes fun. You're yeah, just like hanging out with your friends out with your and you friends. just happen to be like grinding on a chair or like, <laughs> or like touching. You're like, what do we do? This I mean, you're great. making something Love still. Life. It's still a chance to, to perform. It's still a chance to work on something and make something real and find new things with it. And when you have artistic people with you who are next to you who are trying to do the same thing, it's so much easier. And actually, there's no need for intimidation. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say and, about dance calls specifically? <laughs> I didn't have one for this one because Collins on dance. <laughs> it's gotten to a point in the last year where I've never been more comfortable than I am at a dance call, which is odd because I'm not normal physically. So, can I just say, I find it's 
if you can show the passion to want and still have an artistic journey throughout it, that is better than any leg kick or any It doesn't matter way. how like, much you can kick your face. Yeah. I oh, have been right. called back to, I, I was, for freaking Color Purple Tour, they were like, can, you, I want, can we just see you as a dancer? I was like, <laughs> no, you, you can't. But just because in the call they were like, oh, he's from, like, what are you like? Well, I know they moved this way because, you know, they were farming all day, so they probably would have. And he was like, oh, I, I'd like to see that, more of that. I'm like, what? Yeah. The original <laughs> dance routine okay. for Santa Fe was oh, pretty pretty sweet. I, was, I mean, it was my favorite. And then at the at the okay. end, uh, Steve, the choreographer, he was like, "All right, so at the end of this, you know, do a double or a triple." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and so something that I will take to my grave was Nancy Kent just saying, you know, if you can't do a double, make sure it's a clean single. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, a clean single. It's so true though, like, you don't, and then never lie on auditions. Never lie. Never. Yeah. Never be like, if you're, like, if you're singing a song that you can't really hit that high note, don't be like, oh, but normally I'm fine. Like, I did a show where the first day, I don't know what the deal was, the actor couldn't sing oh, the role. We did it, yeah. out, and the actor got let go on the first day of rehearsal. And it was it was <laughs> intense and terrifying. Like, so do a clean single. Don't yeah. be like, actually, don't I can do quadruples. Because like, a good choreographer <laughs> can, in the three to four week period, a good choreographer, if they want to double, you can only do a single. They can get you to. Will help you to. They can get you to a double. Like, yeah. A totally like awesome, spazzy, like hot single is way better than like a. Uh -huh. That's what I gave. Spazzy. 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 I think of it. Listen, you guys, it's great that you came in today. Thank you so much. <laughs>